The future of the Clark County School District is now in the hands of the School Board of Trustees. After the board approved Superintendent Dr. Jesus Jara's resignation last week with that $250,000 severance payout we told you about, Crisis in the Classroom investigative reporter Tiffany Lane has been talking with one trustee about how the team will approach the search process to find the next top boss. Yeah, good evening. Hiring the superintendent for the nation's fifth largest school district is not an easy task, especially when there was not much notice to prepare for a search. The process can take months, and with a big decision, one trustee says they'll have to explore many options. We just hope and pray that you will have an open process in this selection of our next superintendent. The community is demanding to have a voice in the search for the Clark County School District's next superintendent. That after the board voted to approve Dr. Jesus Jara's resignation and $250,000 in severance paid to leave his contract early. Thank you, colleagues. The motion passes five to two. The board voted Deputy Superintendent Brenda Larson Mitchell as the interim. Now the search process begins. My main goal is going to be transparency, and accessibility for everyone. That's Linda Cavazos, one of the board trustees. She says there should be more answers on what the search process could look like during a March 6th meeting. We need to make at least maybe uh, a first step here in deciding. Uh, people are saying, is it going to be a national search? Is it going to be just a statewide search? Um, and you know, you have a lot of different opinions. But there's another concern with hiring a new superintendent. You're about to make a decision knowing there's a new board coming. Think about how you feel. Some of you had to lead a superintendent that you had no choice in choosing, and look where we are today. There are four trustees up for re-election. The new board starts in January. What is your perspective? Do you think we should wait until there's the new board in place? I will only speak to what I said publicly already um, last Thursday, and that was that I stated that I thought it would be a good idea to consider that we have three trustees who have already stated publicly that they're not running. I can't speak for the fourth because I don't know what they're planning to do. And I stated that I thought that was something that we should consider. Cavazos was part of the search to hire Jara nearly six years ago. It was a split vote four to two with one person abstaining. Do you think that moving forward that there might be a more cohesive vote on who moves forward so that the community knows you know, there won't be so many, I guess, divisive votes moving forward when it's things like policy, when it's decisions coming to uh, related to the superintendent. I agree that uh, it does have a certain tone and it is not, I will say right now, it's not a good look. Uh, I think that, again, the transparency and the openness where folks will say, well, why was this just put in at the last minute? You know, we didn't have time to read it. You haven't even had time to read it. We can tell by what you're saying on the on the dais. But I think that something that is going to be very important is that we need to have more open discussions in public. Now, Cavasso says the board will continue moving forward with transparency and will have more discussions with the community on how members vote. She believes this will help with cohesiveness of the board moving forward. News 3 will be at that March 6th meeting to see what updates there are on a search for the permanent superintendent. As always, we'd like to hear from you. Do you want someone hired locally or do you prefer a nationwide search? Send me your tips. Just scan that QR code on your screen or email schooltips at news3lv.com. You can also call 702-805-0489.